glad to be here. Bannock County is in the Pocatello area. That's my home base. And uh, I actually worked in Salmon for about two and a half years, so I drove up here all every month for a lot of years. I love this area. As a, as a mother of a large family, I have six children. They're all grown now, but having a, a lot of products and food that need to be bought when you're at the grocery store can really, really add up. And if, have you ever thought about what portion of your grocery budget is really into the chemicals and cleaners that is, you know, that you're spending? It, it can add up to be quite a bit depending on how often you purchase your cleaning products. So I am excited to talk to you about a few tips and some things you should be aware of if you're going to make cleaners at home. So my handout is the yellow handout. Cleaning products uh, can be made very inexpensively at home. In fact, most everything in my basket that I can make cleaning products with, I had in my home. So I, I bet you you could go to your home and find the similar, uh, very popular ingredients for many of the cleaners. In your handout, I wanted to make sure that you know that there should be safety guidelines with any homemade cleaners, and that's a real big concern right now. First of all, if you, if you use your own container, then it, there's no labeling on it, whereas if I bought it in the store, I have lots of labeling and safety information. So you're going to want to make sure that you have a container that has only been used and will only be used for cleaners and that it, you will put a label on it, you should date it, and put the ingredients on it. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later on. But if, uh, if there were, um, if someone were to get a hold of this and to consume it, you'd want to know what to do about it. And so you want to make sure that you have the poison control number nearby also. So those are just some general tips when you're making your products at home. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to show you some of these basic ingredients. Let's start with ammonia. Ammonia is a very common household cleaner. It is known for it being very strong. And so we want to make sure when we're using ammonia that we have a well-ventilated room. Make sure that you um, have some good circulation going on if it's, if it's uh, if you're going to be around the cleaner for very long. Some of your, some of the recipes uh, can, you can have some contact information for me. If you'd like to contact me, I can get you some more recipes. But I want to stress that these recipes that I have found are, have been researched through extension. So you want to be very careful what's, what's out there on social media right now. There's a lot of home cleaners out there, but there's not been, they've not been tested, so be really careful with that. Another common household item that you'll have is baking soda. Baking soda, as we know, we typically put it in our refrigerator, and it can be in there to help deodorize. It's a great deodorizer, but it's also a little bit abrasive. I don't know if you've ever brushed your teeth with baking soda. We don't get that minty flavor going on, but it can, it can actually clean our teeth. It also has just many, many uses for it. To clean the microwave, you can go ahead and just sprinkle some baking soda on a damp sponge and then just scrub out your microwave and rinse it out. It's really easy. To clean, you can use it to clean a stainless steel sink. And I don't know if you've noticed, but stainless steel clinks uh, stainless, say that twice fast. <laughs> stainless steel sink cleaners can be really expensive, so this can be something safe for you. To do your stainless steel sink, you just sprinkle the baking soda on a damp sponge, scrub the sink, and rinse clean. The nice thing, though, to do with your baking soda is to take about a half a cup of baking soda and sprinkle it in the bottom of your dishwasher after you've taken all the clean dishes out. It, you know how that dishwasher gets a little bit <coughs> smelling like dirty dishes? It's mm -hmm. not funny. Mm -hmm. So just sprinkle it in the bottom, and then go ahead and next time, go ahead and fill your dishwasher up and then put your cleaner in and cycle it through and it will help deodorize your dishwasher. All right, vinegar. I bet you you have vinegar in your house. Vinegar is a nice acid. This is 3% um, level of acid in the vinegar. 
and it is really good at cutting grease and making surfaces shine. So I love the window cleaner. So that's why I, I gave you the window cleaner recipe. It's really simple and it can really save on some money than buying a window cleaner. So vinegar has a lot of uses. Laundry detergent isn't just for laundry use. Laundry detergent can be used to remove heavy soil and it also typically has an active oxygen agent in it that brightens. So if you need something that has a discoloration on it, your, your liquid laundry detergent can work. And those um, powdered tablets that are popular right now also clean our clothes well, but I can't open those up and use those as well. They're very expensive also, so you might consider other uses for your laundry detergent. Liquid dish soap. Just go under your sink and grab your liquid dish soap. As you know, it can cut grease and it can wash countertops. I don't know if you've ever considered that as you're wipe, doing your dishes and then just squirt some on your counter and wipe it down. And fixtures. It's a good uh, cleaning your fixtures in your kitchen. They're a little bit gummy from grease. Chlorine bleach is a great cleaner, disinfectant sanitizer. It's, it's a great product to have. And it also is a deodorizer. So make sure that you've got some bleach on hand. And then another item that you've got in your house probably is lemon juice. Lemon juice is actually a mild bleach in agent, but it also gives us that lovely scent of lemon. So besides the recipe I gave you in your handout, I've also, uh, each line is a recipe for a window cleaner. There's lots and lots of window cleaner options out there. And I don't know about you, but I'm going to be spending a lot of time in my house during the winter. So I just moved, and so I'm bound and determined that I'm going to go out and do the exterior of my windows, uh, irregardless of what's coming next. But I want to be able to look out. So you might take a look at um, getting something that's a little more, a uh, little tougher on those outdoor hard water from your sprinklers also. And then, I don't know about you, but uh, you can make your own soft scrub. You can use uh, liquid castile soap is a, made from vegetable oil instead of animals. And so it's a little, it's an interesting soap you can use. And uh, you can also add to most any of your cleaners, if you like a certain scent, you can use an essential oil and make that product uh, just pop in, in scent that you might like. And the if you haven't priced oven cleaners lately, they're pretty pricey. So this is a really inexpensive way to, to take care of your oven if, if you'd like to have something that's a little less caustic. Thank you so much for your attention. And I have some time for some questions. Is there anything I can help you with? One thing on the vinegar and soda, I have a sluggish sink in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I put soda down and poured the apple cider vinegar down and it boomed right out. Oh, for heaven's sake. I guess you could hear it boiling. Yes, and that acid in there was helping you out, wasn't it? Yes. Do you have any suggestions for microwave or for uh, TV screens and computer screens? Oh, very good. Yes, you're gonna. I use a microfiber cloth on on my screens. Just dry. Yes, I'm. Uh, I wouldn't put any moisture on them. <coughs> any other questions? Yes. Um, do you recommend the the white vinegar or is apple cider vinegar? You know, it has, okay. it's, some, it's the same acid level, so that's fine. I just find apple cider vinegar to be a little <coughs> more expensive. What do you use to wipe your windows afterwards? I'm, I very much prefer a microfiber cloth. So if you get my door prize, there's a microfiber cloth in there. So I hope, I hope that you do. So there's everything you need to make your own cleaners in that, in that. that. I'm really a fan of those. I use, this, I use a squeegee. But to put my cleaner on, I use a microfiber cloth to kind of scrub off the hard water and let it sit for a minute. And then I just use my squeegee and get my windows done. I have my squeegee on a pole because I've got tall windows. So, yeah. Thank you so much. If there's anything I can do, yes, one more question. So you have a laundry soap on here to use for other items. How do you feel about making your own laundry detergent? 
I'm a big fan of it, and I just kind of, I had to limit myself to kitchen, because I could have gone to the bathroom, or the bedroom, or the garage, so I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I, I've had some great success, especially with uh, items that really need to soak, so white items that you really need to soak uh, stains out of. All right, thank you so much.